What is up, people? I got a video over here of this person, Ashu Ghai. Apparently, so I've seen him on YouTube a couple of times. He has a YouTube channel called Science is Fun, and uh, he is a science communicator. And a lot of his videos, I really, I like them. Uh, he does them really well. But I've seen some red flags in some of his content. Like there is pseudo sense that he has been peddling in some videos. And this video that uh, has been going around recently is one example. He's talking about why you should not drink water uh, right after eating food. Let's see what he's saying. Yes, khana khane ke baad pani pina mana hota hai. Ye aap sab jante honge. Aap sab ne suna bhi hoga. Lekin agar main khana khane ke baad ek glass pani pula pi leta hon. To isse... Just one second. Have you heard this? He says everyone must have heard uh, you can't you shouldn't drink water right after eating. Have you heard this? This sounds like some Ayurvedic health advice, right? Uh, let's see how what reasons he gives. In my body, me, what what damage will be? Come on, let's check it. I have some such chemicals that are in our stomach, which are called digestive enzymes, that are the ones that save the food. Such chemicals in the form of water. Then we put it in a glass and fill it up. और इस वाले के अंदर अभी भी मेरे जो डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स है वो बहुत हाई कंसेंट्रेशन के अंदर है थोड़ा से खाने के रूप में ये ब्रेड के टुकड़े डाल के थोड़ी देर के लिए छोड़ देंगे इसके अंदर भी खाने के टुकड़े डाल के छोड़ देते हैं हम लोग एक घंटे के लिए छोड़ देंगे के अंदर शायद आपको दिख रहा हो कि क्या होना शुरू हो गया लेकिन आओ थोड़ा साइंस को समझते हैं जब भी हम लोग खाना खाने के बाद पानी पीते हैं तो हमारे पेट में बैठे हुए जितने भी एंजाइम्स है वो डायल्यूट हो जाते हैं यानी कि उनमें पानी ज्यादा हो जाता है और उनकी ताकत कम हो जाती है जिसकी वजह से वो खाने को ढंग से पचा नहीं पाते पानी पीना भी है तो आप एक सिप या दो से पी सकते हैं लेकिन आपको पानी पूरा ग्लास भर के तो नहीं पीना है लगभग आधा घंटा बीत चुका है इस वाले कंटेनर में ब्रेड का हाल देख सकते हैं और इस वाले कंटेनर में एक्जैक्टली ब्रेड वैसी की वैसी ही है अगर आपके घर में कोई भी खाना खाने के बाद पानी पीता है तो आप उसको ये वीडियो जरूर दिखाईगा थैंक यू सो मच आई टेल यू राइट Away, this is complete misinformation, and it's very sad to see an actual science communicator uh, use pseudoscience and misinformation in, in his videos. Now let's talk about what's wrong with this. Firstly, uh, your stomach isn't a closed system. It's not like that beaker he showed. Things come in and go out of the stomach, and the stomach itself can secrete its own acid. So if you drink water, of course that change in pH, whatever dilution happens, the stomach can. Uh, regulate its pH by secreting or not secreting acid appropriately. Appropriately, this is the same logic used by someone who's trying to peddle some alkaline water or alkaline diet. Or there's that Kangen water scam, right? I made a video on this. Now, this is the same logic they use. You should uh, your blood needs to be slightly basic, so you should eat uh, foods that are uh, basic in pH. some bullshit logic everything that goes in your stomach becomes acidic because the stomach has an acidic ph if you drink a lot of water the stomach will regulate its ph accordingly millions of years of evolution billions of years of evolution and you think a glass of water we drink right after eating the stomach hasn't evolved to uh, you know regulate that or handle that properly what really saddens me is that he is a science communicator i've seen some red flag content from him uh, stuff that i've seen which makes me feel like you know he's talking about science in a very superficial manner and of course he's a science teacher so in his uh, subject his field of expertise he's probably really good but occasional pseudo sense like this yeah i do see it and i thought this should be brought to your attention uh, let's see one more thing yeah uh, this uh, misinformation has been called out in uh, the comments uh embarrassed for claiming this to be scientific explanation yep um yeah people are calling out that this is false this is misinformation so yeah i think that's it in other news i wanted to show you one more thing so this is the next news item that i wanted to show you there was a recent tragic death of someone who's fairly young also uh the daughter of musician ilaya raja bhavatarini i believe that's how it's pronounced uh, but uh, it says over here that uh, she was undergoing a treatment in um, colombo sri lanka and it says right here that she was undergoing an ayurvedic treatment and apparently she was suffering from cancer and uh, this was happening now i don't know what kind of cancer it was uh, there's not enough detail on this I I don't know if she was terminal or something but I can tell you one thing for sure Ayurveda is never a solution for cancer 
of any sort. I I'm glad this paper called it out. Uh, this is the Hindu, I believe. What generally happens is whenever someone's undergoing a cancer treatment and the treatment fails, they don't mention failures of Ayurveda in news reports like these. Like they'll just mention it's a treatment she was undergoing. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, this reminds me of reminds me of a similar story. Uh, where someone else who had cancer, Steve Jobs, it was treatable at a point when it was uh, detected and the doctors told him, hey, you just undergo this surgery and you'll be cured of this cancer. But instead of doing that, he went for some other alternative treatments. And when that didn't work, he came back to modern medicine. By that time, it was too late. And today, he's no longer with us. Yeah, I think uh, there should be some sort of uh, fail safe to prevent people from going into Ayurvedic treatment or any alternative medicine for any of these life-threatening critical illnesses. But uh, yeah, I thought I should bring this to you. Now, someone also sent me this. Um, it says over here, since 1940, this person Prashlad Jani has not eaten any food or had any water. When you can see a claim that is physically impossible and when they claim that the result of all this is some I know some divine or supernatural intervention you have to look at it with more scrutiny I've heard a bit more about this particular case and there's literally no evidence of the fact that he hasn't eaten any food this hasn't been verified by an independent source and such a thing is impossible. Our bodies, our cells actually require energy to burn. Where's that energy coming from? If you claim he, it's, uh, he looks at the sun and he's getting energy from there. Bo our human bodies do not have chlorophyll. It does not have any way of getting energy or extracting energy from sun rays. Only plants can do that. And we only survive by providing ourselves with energy in the food that we derive directly or indirectly from plants. This is a physically impossible claim that whoever made this post is making. This post, it's talking about people with superpowers, humans with superpowers. And uh, yeah, I hate to break it to you. This is, this person's just scamming. He's probably eating without people really, people knowing about it. And um, yeah, he's scamming people by telling they have a they have some sort of superpower. It's impossible for to not eat and still survive. Okay, cool. I'll see you in the next video.